Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about building and capturing a Windows 10 image uh, in, in your environment. So um, that's what we're going to go over. I created a customized Windows uh, WIM file, like a Windows 10 WIM file from the install WIM. So today we're going to be talking about how to customize it. Some of the things you want to customize in your image that's pretty much standard across, uh, you know, your your devices and some things to consider. So with that, let's get started. So today is about Windows 10. So I've got my SCCM environment open. As you can see, I've got to log back in. All right, so all of the imaging operating system stuff is located under the software library operating systems. And then we're gonna have, an, right now we have no image here and then we don't have a task sequence when we start talking about deployments of Windows 10. Um, so right now, um, so with that, let's get started. So I created a separate VM and I called it Windows 10 image and I've made some changes. Um, so like, for example, uh, now you can do some customization with ICD, which is the um, custom designer. It's the Microsoft tool that comes with the Windows ADK, which you would then need to install on your Windows 10 machine, open up the ICD and then do your installation customization uh, designer and add whatever customizations you want and uh, it gives you a kind of a, a nice little a tailor approach to how you want some settings that you want to change now I've been doing this a pretty long time and I pretty much know all the different settings that most companies uh, typically would like to change and so I've kind of done that already uh, manually and so now the only thing I have to do is just prep this machine shut it down and then capture the image so that's kind of where I'm at though but uh, in my next video, I'll walk through through how the ICD works and the, the customization that you can do there as well. So what I've done here is I've modified the tile um, area because in Windows 10, when you when you install it by default, it there's a whole bunch of other stuff that downloads like some games, Candy Crush. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. So in a lot of environments and uh, corporations don't like games on there so I removed all of those I removed some junk um, programs off here I did some tweaks in the Windows firewall some tweaks to Windows updates uh, you want to turn those things off and the image you don't want those things on also when you're building a machine you want to make sure that your your machine that you're creating an image on is a desktop computer not a laptop computer because a laptop computer has extra drivers that you need to consider, like fingerprint sensors and stuff like that, you don't typically see on a desktop. So you want it to be a kind of a clean build without too many drivers in there. You can always install those drivers after the fact. So that can be the laptops I do separately. But I just grab a simple, or you can do a VM image and just have it just as basic as possible with some configuration changes. I then change like some network settings, uh, I, I disable the IP6 that tends to cause issues, so I, I turn those things off. Uh, I, I configure, turn off the screensaver here. I also configure all of the power settings to make it, uh, you know, so that, uh, you know, to eliminate the power usage. Uh, you can also control all those things with group policy as well, but so I turn all that stuff off in the image because then all of that stuff can be managed by either your, um, provisioning packages you know with the ICD if you use that or through group policy you can manage all those from here but on the image you don't want to have too many of those settings in place also my machine is not on a domain so I'm doing all of these settings from within not being on the domain because once you add the computer domain it's going to start getting all of the default group, group policies and it's not a good idea to capture all that in an image so I recommend just capturing all this stuff while it's on a work group you, you know through a USB so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today. I'm kind of really doing it and, and doing it this way. You really get a clean image. You sys prep it. You clean out all the SIDs. You clean out. And then I also like to, um, I have a script that closes out all the front prints and all the places I've gone in here uh, in, in, this, uh, in this Windows image. So, um, so, so those are the things that I, I've done here. So with that, I want to go ahead and start capturing this image. So... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a sysprep. I've got all my, um, let's go to do it this way. I'm going to use the command line. Oops. And 
command line. Oops. Okay, so I went ahead and re-ran the command. Uh, there was a little extra space uh, in the command. So now what this is going to do is going to go ahead and sysprep the machine, get rid of all the SIDs, um, generalize it, and do an OBE configuration. Also, you can only run sysprep only eight times on your Windows 10 machine. If you have reached eight times, then you have to rebuild a new image. So just keep that in mind that when you're doing this, um, you have up to eight times to run the same command on the same machine uh, if you make any more changes. So I just wanted to let you know about that. So this will take a little bit of time to run. And then once it shuts down, then I'm gonna go ahead and create a capture ISO file. So I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, as you can see, the sysprep is completed and it's now shutting down the machine. There you go. So now we're going to um, create, we want to capture this image. Uh, it's basically called a reference image. So I have a, uh, a VM here that's got all the settings that I want. So that if I ever want to deploy this Windows 10, this, it'll have all of those settings I want. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize this for a second. So to create an uh, ISO file, you're going to need to go in. Oh, darn, not that. I mean to click on that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the task sequence. And what you want to do is create task sequence. Or actually, create task media is the one you want to click on. Create task sequence media. So the one you want to do is that capture media. This is going to cre create a media used to capture an operating system deployment image on a reference computer. So that's what you want capture media. And then you want to go ahead and uh, uh, we're going to call it um, capture. Um, you may have other um, capture. I'm going to call it capture. Yeah, just call it capture. Well, actually, me uh, let me do this. It's uh, there we go. I'm just going to call it Capture ISO. I mean, you can probably call it Win 10 uh, Capture or, or what have you. Um, you're probably going to have multiple Capture, like for another operating system. You know, I can reference the name to be the operating system, however you want to do it for, you know, I, for, for my testing and demonstration. I'm just going to call it Capture ISO. And then I'm going to um, use the 64 bit boot image and I'm going to use this distribution point now you may have different uh, you know uh, you may have different locations that where people are um, you know doing imaging so you want to just pick um, a distribution point that's going to uh, where this device is going to be booted up from uh, so that's that next and then now it's going to create this um, ISO file for me at which time I can then burn to a CD or a USB stick. And um, so I gotta wait for it to finish. So this will take a few minutes and I'll be back. 
All right, so in order for me to capture that Windows 10 image, I need to make sure that the, um, the Windows 10 image that I created is going to boot up into the CD-ROM drive so that I can uh, uh, capture that image. Uh, and it's gonna, I'm going to call it, uh, you know, I give it a name for the WIM file, for the customized WIM file. So uh, make sure you do that. Okay, now at this point, it's booting up to that uh, ISO file that we created earlier. So once you boot up to the CD, it'll, it'll, uh, it should automatically launch the launch media. Um, so I'm kind of showing you what that'll sort of look like here. You have to make sure that your uh, workstation is not on a domain. Um, you won't be able to capture that. And then also connect it to some network and share somewhere so you can place that media file or that uh, WIM file someplace. So launch and then you'll want to create a destination. So I'm just going to put it um, somewhere here, although technically you want to put it on the, uh, network share somewhere. Leave that blank. Give your name. I'm just going to call it Bruno. And then you go ahead and finish. And it'll basically capture all of the components and place it um, in in that WIM file. Uh, particularly, you want to typically you want to put it on a network share, not on the main system. Uh, so I wanted to show you kind of what this part looks like. So it should automatically boot into the, the ISO file. And then you go ahead and launch the uh, task media, and it'll actually create the WIM file from the uh, capture media uh, CD. And so I'm going to let this run through and um, give it a second. Okay, as you can see, it's still going through um, the image capture wizard. And this does take a little bit of time. So it could technically, you know, depending on how big the image is on the workstation, um, it could take anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes depending on the uh, speed of the machine that you're imaging or the reference computer that you're capturing. So, um, so yeah, it's just have, you just have to let it run through its course. You'll get to this point where it says shut down. So I'll go ahead and restart it now. See, it's going through the uh, the initializing WinPE because it's booting up into the CD-ROM drive, and it'll boot into this CD. Once you create, once you burn the ISO file to a CD, this is what uh, will happen. And as you can see, it's going through um, capturing the reference machine, and this will take a little bit of time. Okay, when it's done, you'll see image uh, successfully captured to dot .wim. And press OK to restart the computer and run the uh, Windows setup. So this is where we're at. So now it's successful. I'm going to let it reboot. And as you can see, um, I have my one file right here. So now all I have to do is import that one file into the SCCM. So, um, so with that, let's get started in capturing this WIM file. So I'll be right back. Hello. So basically, you just saw how I captured a reference computer. Um, and uh, so basically, this video is about capturing a reference computer image. Uh, so basically, you want to um, you know, build that Windows 10 machine configure all the components you want to configure, 
maybe add some software in it that everyone's going to get. I don't, I don't recommend that because if it ever changes, you'll have to update the image again. Uh, so I try to keep, keep it bare minimal as possible and then install those applications after the fact in the task sequence. Uh, so basically this is just to get a WIM file into the SCTM so that we can then start to deploy that image to your devices, whether it be a new device or maybe it's an upgrade to an existing Windows 7 machine to Windows 10 or what have you or a computer refresh type scenarios. So there's going to be a lot of different deployment scenarios. So with that, I want to end the video here because uh, I know I said I was going to Im import that WIM file, but uh, uh, this bit, I don't want this video to be too long. But uh, if you like this video, if you have any co questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, again, you can go to my my website, mynexttech.com. I'll also link in the comment section below. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, next week, I'll be talking about how to create those deployments, those task sequences to for the different scenarios uh, that we may want to deploy this image to. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.